I also see another chicken that I could house uh -huh. sitting on my couch with some salsa that we just made. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about really the most important tool in your kitchen, or tools, because we're talking about two of them. Yes. And those are your knives. You want your knives to be fresh. You want them to be sharp. Yes. You want them to be versatile. These are that. These are your two-piece Sentoku and Asian chef's knives with the sheaths, with the sheaths, so you can keep it nice and protected. Oh, that has a really nice weight to it. Yes, we're gonna talk about Ooh, that. Oh, okay. Clearance price for both the knives that you see here is $19.98. They have their sheaths on them right now. Uh, used to be $32.40, so that's a pr significant savings for you right there. Your Easy Pay gets it home for $4. It's K53904. I will take you through your colors and then we'll do some demos. Yeah. All right, so I have it in the uh, light gray. Remember, it's gonna be that set of two. So this is the set of two in your light gray. Then we have it in the set of two in the black. Black's cool. Black. The black makes me feel really cool. <laughs> okay, the black is the most limited. Then we have it in that light blue that we're all in love with right now. Yes. And then Kara has it in the red. There we go. That's your set of two in the red. The Asian chef's knife is seven inches. The Santoku is five inches. Japanese steel blade, soft grip handle. Get in there, girl. <laughs> And this is, you were talking about the weight on this? Yes. Here's why. So you don't have to push so hard. Oh, yes. Look at that. that just went straight on right, through, through the right bone? Right through the bone and everything. But if I wanted to really gently slice this breast, I can do that as well. Oh my so goodness. So this works for everything. So we do have a little video because these are the X-Men of knives, Ooh. okay? Let me tell you what. So okay. they're Japanese steel. Then they are cryogenically treated, oh. and they are titanium coated. So they come to you sharper, they stay sharper longer. They, this is a powerful tool. And this big one, like I said, because you were mentioning the weight on it, that right. extra weight allows you to go through more difficult items with more ease. So you don't have to push so hard when you're going through things like a chicken bone or you're going through a tougher piece of fruit or vegetable. Right now, uh, fall butternut squash. Think if you're mm -hmm. cutting a whole squash. Much easier to do with this knife because of the way it's designed. So again, Japanese steel, cryogenically frozen, titanium coated. And that titanium coating, again, you kind of see the color on them. Not quite your regular stainless steel color. They almost have a little bit of a darker color. Yeah. That also helps prevent any rusting. So if you are prone to leaving them in the sink, guilty as charged. We've all done uh, it. We've all or, been there. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> this is not going to allow for any rusting on the knife. It will allow for a little bit. It kind of shows a little bit more than that stainless steel does. So uh -huh. you're going to see some of the water stains if you let it sit, okay. but it'll not rust. Can I just go back to that video for a second and say that was the coolest video I've seen here at QVC. It was like kind of medieval. <laughs> That's what like, I'm saying. I was like, whoa. Oh, look at these knives. It's, it's, it's X-Man. I literally right. I don't know how else to describe it. Absolutely. All right, so when do I use which knife? Okay. How do I decide? So, again, the larger knife is going to be for heavier duty projects okay. as well as mincing really fine herbs because you're going to be able to get that really easy rocking, rocking motion on it. I like it. the rock, I like the rock. Yeah, for this one, and again, I think it does depend on whatever you're comfortable with. I'm a petite person, I have tiny hands, so this is my, I call this my daily driver. I use this knife in my kitchen every single day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's just really easy to work with, so you're able to wow. just get those easy chops, those easy cuts. Yep. I send them rolling. <laughs> We let Mary do this one time with the big one, and they were literally oh, flying. Oh, you let Mary do it? We let Mary do it, oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Yikes. absolutely. <laughs> but really, again, simple things, your everyday things. So cutting an onion, I always love to do this for everybody. So onions, super easy. A little easy. tutorial right here, guys. Little Pay tutorial. attention. There you go. So you've got your root end, you've got your stem end. So you can just cut off your stem end. Okay. Now you've got a flat part to work with. Go straight down. Okay. You always want to keep that root end intact. That's what holds all the pieces together. So if you've ever tried to cut an onion and now there's pieces flying everywhere, that's yeah. why you want to leave that root end where it is. And then nature gives us the instructions. There are lines to follow here. So we're just going to follow the lines of the onion. Now, are you going, you're not going all the way through, are you? Do, yep. Well, you don't want to go all the way. You just want to go to the root. You want to leave that piece intact. Okay. But you're going all the way to the bottom of all the board? All the way to the board. Yep. Absolutely. So we're following the lines, and then depending on how big or small we want things, we're going to go one slice in, we'll go two slices in, Whoa. hold it all together, and straight down. That's the move. It's the horizontal slice. It's the horizontal slice. It's the horizontal. 
gentle slice. But, and then if you're using, so again, I use the small one for this just because of my own size and comfort with it, but mm -hmm. you can also do the big one with it. And then once you've got everything prepped and ready to rock, the great one about the great thing about the big one is it works as a scoop too. So we can get this all scooped up and into, you know, our pot, our bowl, whatever it is okay. that we're looking to have prepped. Ah, okay, okay. Right? Like, you know, we have the big blocks of all the 15,000 different knives. Yes. I feel like we can simplify that. Right? Like we need like two really good knives that we're using uh, every single absolutely, day. Absolutely. Absolutely. We were talking cocktails earlier, so maybe we're making garnish for yes, we are. our cocktails. Ooh, look at that pretty ruby red grapefruit. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Maybe do like a little caramelization on that, like mm. torches. Yes. Float it in like a ooh. Um coming to your house. Yeah, you are. It's gonna be fun. That's fine. Um okay, so <laughs> while you're cutting that, let me remind yes. people of the colors. So you're getting both of them, a five inch and a seven inch. Did I say that right? Is that correct? Yes. Five inch and a seven inch. They both have the sheaths. You can get the set of two. Remember, this is a clearance price under twenty dollars with that really cool video that showed how awesome yes. these are. This is your light gray. Kara is using it, cutting up that steak right now in the black color. Then while she cuts, that steak looks good. We have it in the light blue, and we also have it in the red as well. It's K53904, under, under $20 gets it home. Um, all right, we are moving on. Oh my God, does this last in the show already? Oh wow. Okay, well I could not have possibly needed this one. <laughs> I was on until midnight last night, and then I was back 